السلام علیکم ویورز مائی نیم از نعیم شہزاد اینڈ یو آر واچنگ آر اسی ورلڈ یوٹیوب چینل ان ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو آئی ول شو یو پریکٹیکلی ٹرک آف آر ون تھری فور اے ریفریجریٹ چارجنگ انٹو ریفریجریٹر ود آؤٹ ویکیم اینڈ دا نیم آف دس ٹرک از پرجنگ یس وی کالڈ دس ٹرک پرجنگ اینڈ یو کین اپلائی دس ٹرک اف یو ڈونٹ ہیو ویکیم پمپ ایز یو کین ویو آن یور اسکرین دس ریفریجریٹر از چارجڈ ود آر ون تھری فور اے ریفریجریٹ ناؤ ایز یوم فور اے مومنٹ I don't have available vacuum pump but I can also gas charge into this refrigerator without using vacuum pump. These are leakage point of this refrigerator. You can view on your screen I have cleaned its carbon from all leakage joints. And now I will break this tube by using a plier. I will release its refrigerant before starting the breathing. And now I will also cut this tube from here by using a tube cutter and you can see I have cut down this tube from here. I am showing you this video step by step so don't skip this video and watch till to end. And now I will attach this gas charging valve into this suction and I will also repair all damaged joints of this refrigerator. All damaged joints have been repaired as you can view on your screen. I have repaired all damaged tubes and I have also joined this gas charging valve into suction line and I have repaired capillary joints and dryer joints. Now I am inserting this pin into gas charging valve. This gas charging valve is very useful in our work so I will also recommend you to use this gas charging valve. I have inserted pin into valve and this time only this dryer hole is open remaining all repairing has completed now i have connected my both gas charging line with low pressure manifold gauge and now i will attach this pin side of gas charging line with this pin valve and it is most compulsory thing to attach this pin side of gas charging line with this valve so that it can be pushed this pin and gas can go into inner side and now i will off manifold gauge valve now i will open cylinder valve a little bit and again i will close it and now i will punch this tube from here by using a wire cutter you can also use plier and something other i punch this tube so i can easily fill this tube by using a copper rod now i will push a little bit pressure of 134a refrigerant into this refrigerator and again close its valve and now i will turn on my breathing torch and will check again and again that the refrigerant is still coming out from here or not and when the refrigerant is stop come outside from here instantly i will fill this hole by using my copper rod and breathing torch look at your screen it's practical demo And now you can see the hole has filled up and we have also completed our purging and now i will open the valve of gas cylinder and i will also open a valve of low pressure manifold gauge so the refrigerant can go into refrigerator I will push at least 30 psi of standing pressure into this refrigerator according to do this low pressure manifold gauge and then turn on to refrigerator I have turned on the refrigerator as you can also view on your screen the needle of your manifold gauge has come on a vacuum side which means the compressor has turned on successfully now I am again pushing more pressure of a refrigerant into refrigerator so it can start the cooling 
I don't use vacuum pump for gas charging in this video. I use a trick of purging. It is also successful. No need to hesitate. And now I will also show you its cooling. You can see on your screen it has completed its cooling successfully. And now I will also remove my gas charging line from gas charging valve. And I will also tighten its dead cap so the refrigerant cannot leak from here. And in this way you can charge R134A refrigerant into your refrigerator without using a vacuum pump. You can use this trick who is called by the name of purging. Hope you will enjoy this video. If you like it give it one like. Also share with your other friends and don't forget to subscribe REC World YouTube channel for more related videos on exact time. Take care. Allah Hafiz.